second. It's spinning. It's trying to find itself. Uh oh. Um, okay. Yeah. You know, people like people like being behind the scenes. By the way, hmm. did you know that? No. Yeah, I'm I'm checking now so I can see when we go live and if we go live because believe it or not, I've been known to to get going. Believe it or not, and guess what? Uh huh. I've been talking to myself. <laughs> that happens. Yeah, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing to be talking to yourself. You not know it. For folks that are joining on, um, do me a favor, if you will, look <laughs> look right below the video. Um, the tuning in and Solana, they'll let us know if they can hear us. Um, say okay. something, Solana. Say mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Okay, I can hear you. You sound really good on my side. You sound really good on right. my side. Uh, I'm not sure if they can hear me, by the way, because sometimes I get started and I forget to hit the button. By the way, um, uh -huh. have, you ever, have you ever you ever done that? Like embarrass yourself like publicly? <laughs> Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not so I'm yes. not alone. <laughs> it happens. It makes you it, it it's good to know you're alive and that you can be corrected. It's okay. I love how you tell me that. It's good to know that I can be alive and be corrected. But let me see if they can hear us. Mic check, mic check. Pamela Ursha, look right below the video and say, we can hear you. Natalie, uh, look right below the video and say, Shay, we hear you. Rebecca Huggins, thanks for joining. Look right below the video and let me know you can hear us. Tammy Anderson, if you're out there, we're about to get started. As soon as we get a mic check, mic check, and we make sure we can be heard. Solanda, mm -hmm. where are you broadcasting in from tonight or this morning or this afternoon? <laughs> ATL, I am in hot Atlanta. Hot Atlanta, oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so cool. It is hot in Atlanta. Um, I'm in San Antonio at my second home, as you know. Now mm -hmm. that I'm married, I'm, I'm, I'm like bi-coastal, believe it or not. So mm -hmm. I used to say, I'm not home. She's like, no, you are home. So I'm, I'm home in San Antonio, and oh. I'm home in Washington, D.C. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that crazy how, how that works? Oh, we can do anything we want. There are no limitations on your relationship. Uh, I like that. <laughs> there are no limitations on your relationship. We ain't even got started. You're jo already dropping a, no a golden nugget for us, guys. <laughs> I want to be the man. Say that one more time. Um, what is it you said again? There are no limitations in your relationship. All right. For those None. ladies, okay. For those ladies that are out there right now, we're going to get started. I'm going to look down. Make sure we do a mic check. Write the first note of the day. There are no limitations to your relationship. Hashtag be the man. There are no limitations to your relationship. Be the man. For all my digital note takers out there that are writing on that digital board right now, we appreciate you. We love you. We're getting started. But write this down. This is the first nugget that I'm going to take away. There are no limitations to your relationships. Hashtag be the man. The whole thing is about we're going to talk to the, today <laughs> about how we can be the man. I can't wait to hear this. I mean, I can't wait. <laughs> All right, I'm doing a check. Uh, Crystal Cunningham is in the house. What's up, Crystal Cunningham? You got it. You met Crystal. She rocks, by the way. She rocks. <laughs> Sylvia's in yes. the house. Okay, Pamela says, good evening. Pamela says, we can hear you. Ada says, we can hear you. Dee Bowden says, we can hear you. Y'all saying you can hear Shay Brown, but can you hear Solanda? That's the question. <laughs> woo -woo. Can you hear me? Checking in. Okay, Margaret said, there are no limitations to your relationships. All right, Sylvia's in the house. All right, we're going we're gonna to get started. I'm assuming they can hear me. If they can't hear you, that's a bigger problem. We're about to get started in five. You ready, Solanda? Oh, let's do right, this. We're going to get started in five, four, three, uh -oh, two, one. Please go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and it knows it must outrun the fastest lion or be killed and eaten. Also, every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up and knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. You've heard it before. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be what? You better be running. That's right. That's right. You better be running. Life is about meaning. And meaning is about service. Isn't that the reason why we're all here? Isn't that what we're all searching for? 2013, the Peak Performance Institute was created. 5,000 clients who we've helped turn their idea into a reality, their reality into a business, their business into a movement, impacting 5.7 million lives around the world. Imagine that! 
Hey, my name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Network, the world's largest organization for the well-being of an entrepreneur. And as we always say, our mission at the Happy Entrepreneur Network, our mission is to inspire, empower, and provide resources for the entrepreneur to live a balanced life and execute their vision for the people they were called to serve. And our mantra, you know, I love our belief. Everyone should have a belief statement. Our belief is the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. With that being said, let's get started. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown and welcome everybody to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country. You, you are amazing. You are incredible. Let me say hello to our none other, our special guest to be talking about a subject that every man wants to see this episode, every man on how to be the man. And she said women can listen in and give their input. Let me give a warm welcome to none other than the Solanda What's up, Solanda? Hey, greetings, Shay. Hey, everybody. So happy to be here. It's a great place to be at 11 p.m. in ATL. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. in ATL. We don't know where it is in California. We don't know what time it is in San Antonio. I'm in San Antonio. Some of you in London. Some of you in South Africa. Some of you in France. Some of you are waking up. Some of you are going to sleep. But you know what we know? We know one thing for sure, that you have a vision for yourself. You have a vision for your loved ones, you have a vision for the people you were called to serve. You know how we like to welcome them. I like to start off every single time. Let's just do a check-in. Do me a favor, look right below the video, look right below the video, and just write these words. Write these words down right now. This is my time. This is my time. Hashtag, hear me, hear me. This is my time. Hashtag, hear me, you're gonna write these words. This is, this is how you check in. This is my time. Hashtag sales visionary. This is my time, hashtag sales visionary, because you're going to get the support. You're going to get the resource. You'll get everything you need right now to deliver the vision you have for the people you were called to serve. So look right below the video. Hey, Earl, thanks for joining. Hey, Sakoni Prince, thanks for joining. Hey, Cheryl Graham, she's in California. See, everybody <laughs> not in the ATL. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Margaret, thanks for being here. Um, D. Bowden, thanks for being here. Loretta, it is always a pleasure. Loretta and many of them, by the way, Solanda, are our digital note takers. Like, they just do this on their own. Like, we don't pay them, but they're happy preneurs. And they take notes on the digital notebook so they can bless someone else. So, because people are listening to the podcast right now. Um, they're listening to the conference call. We syndicate this out. And so they get a chance to go back and listen and read the notes. So for all my note takers who are checking in, thank you so much. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Let me do a thank you to Sylvia. Sylvia's in the house. She said she's in the house right now. Cheryl Graham is in the house. Um, Sakoni Prince said, this is my time. Margaret McCoy says, this is my time. Uh, Loretta says, this is my time. Sylvia says, this is my time. Stefan Youngblood. Look, we're going to talk about and learn how to be the man. How to be the man. Is that right? Yes. Yes. I, I, I can't wait. <laughs> Solanda, for th those who know, she's like really cool. Now, Solanda, I like to start off every single time. For those folks that are out there like Idy, who says, this is my time, hashtag sales visionary. For those folks that are watching that are taking notes, I like to start off every single time, if I can, with the Champion's Creed. It's just something that we believe in. My mentor gave this to me. I said it for almost 15 years, and it really kept me in good times and very challenging times for those folks that are tuning in. So I'm going to read the Champion's Creed over and just take that moment. I love to do this because I like to encourage the person that's on the verge of a breakthrough, but I also like to speak to the person who's on track and off track. And I love talking to the person out there that has to get back on track. Because if you are a champion, if you are a winner, you know, sometimes you're going to get hit with the punch yeah. you never saw coming. I'm going to talk to Solanda about that. And when that happens, how do you respond? I don't know what your chant is, but I'm going to share my mantra with you. Let's go over to the Champion's Creed. I love to start off the Champion's Creed. Let me go right here. Doo -doo. The Champion's Creed is the oops, wrong one. I got it. Y'all bring up the right one. Here we go. Champion's Creed. Here's the Champion's Creed. I am not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying. Keep showing up for the Happy Entrepreneur Show and keep trying. Keep taking notes and keep trying. Keep building your relationships. That's the Champion's Creed. Solanda, can you see those words there? 
Yes. Do us a favor. I want everyone to, to, to go along and say these words with Solanda. I'm going to ask Solanda to say the Champion's Creed. Solanda, take it away. I am not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in the direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying. And keep trying, and keep trying, mm -hmm. and keep trying. I got to put the yes. Shea Brown remix on it. You know, we're part of the Puff Daddy generation. We got to put the, the remix version. Keep trying. Maybe your relationship didn't work out. You keep mm -hmm. trying. Maybe you didn't get that client you want. You keep trying. Maybe you didn't lose the weight you wanted. You keep trying. Mm -hmm. Maybe, perhaps, you got a challenge in your finances, but you what? Keep trying. Now, why do you keep trying? Why do you keep going? Why do we say the Champions Creed? Because we have a mantra here. We have a core value. And one of our core values is the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. So we love to talk about results in your life. We love to talk about results in your bank account, but we know it takes both. Do me a favor. As we get kicked off, I love to share this. Hit the share button. Hit the share button and pay this message forward to someone else. You look right below the video, my digital note takers, you who's watching right now, we're going to bless someone else. We're going to pay it forward. Don't worry. We got a great show. We got a great episode. But, but first, we're going to stop. And I want you to look right below the video. I want you to write these words right now. Put these words right now. This is so important. Keep on going. Hashtag never give up. Just put keep on going. Hashtag never give up. Just put keep on going. Hashtag never give up. Now, why do you write those words? Why do you take time? Yeah, I know note takers are money makers, but it's not about making the money. This is about paying the message forward because we believe in the giver's economy. And the giver's economy is the per person out gives the competition, out earns the competition. It's one of our core values. The person out gives the competition out earns the competition. If that's you and you believe that, just look right below the video and put keep on going, hashtag, I love keep on going, hashtag what? Never get up. And when someone puts that down there, hit the heart button, hit the like button right now and just say, yes, that's true. Yes, you can. You can make this happen. Solanda, I like to ask every guest when they come on board, why is it important to keep on going and the hashtag never give up? Can you talk about that for just a moment? Absolutely, because when you keep going, you gather pieces as you move forward. And when you're gathering pieces, eventually you have all of them that you can put together and it becomes a whole. And so that's when everything becomes expansive. That's when you succeed. That's when you get what you're looking for. That's when what you were building finally stands on the foundation. So that's why you got to keep going. You got to get those pieces. You got to keep yep. going. You got to yep. get those pieces. Uh, Margaret McCoy says, keep on going. Hashtag never give up. Adi says, keep on going. Hashtag never give up. Thank you so much. Sylvia says she shared it. They're paying the message for it. Look, look, look. They're looking at you right now, Solanda. We're going to get into your background, okay? We're going to get into how wonderful you are. <laughs> We're going to get into how we can be the man. Because This is one episode that every man needs to see. And if you're a woman, we want to hear from you, by the way. But first, Solanda, do you mind stepping back and maybe sharing and being transparent and sharing a time where you had to maybe apply that principle in your life where you had to tell yourself, you know what, I got to I got to keep on going. Hashtag never give up. Can you give us a time where you had a setback and maybe you had to have a comeback just in your own life or maybe in your own experience. And if it's never happened to you, say, shit, that ain't never happened to me. I got to pass on that question. And that's perfectly OK. Mm, yeah, no, uh, there's many, <laughs> but I'm going to stay on point. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually going to talk about a relationship because I had no clue what a relationship was. My family, my parents, they didn't teach me what a relationship was and had to figure it out on my own. After many tries with many men, it didn't work out. So finally, one day I said, there has to be a common denominator. And guess what that common denominator was? What? It was me. <laughs> I was the problem. It wasn't all the men. I had to finally look at myself and say, what is it about me that's not working? Because I really wanted a long term relationship, but it wasn't working what I was doing. My magic, my mojo wasn't working. Mm -hmm. So I made it a point to learn more about myself, number one, so I wouldn't settle anymore. And then number two, create a list of the man that I wanted in my life to help me move forward. And to keep trying and keep going and supporting me so that now I think I do a decent job at selecting men and helping men uh, select decent women and women select decent men. 
you know, you know when, when you mentioned yeah. women select decent men and you select decent men first, thanks for being transparent. I didn't know you were going to say that, by the way. Um, <laughs> I didn't even, that's something I just learned something about her myself. I, I didn't know that because you would think that mm-hmm. someone has it all together, that it's just perfect. They've never had any challenge in their life. Um, they know. But, but tell me something. Why is this near and dear to you? Um, why is this your vision? Why is this your vision right now to help people, especially men, um, have the type of relationship in their life, in their business, with their friends, with their family that they really need to have, but specifically relationship with women. I mean, why, why is that so important to you? What's your vision? As a psychotherapist for about 20 years, ooh, yeah, about 20, 22 years in between there, I've had more male clients come to me for assistance. And it was the same story every time. And it sounded a little bit like this. Why does she do X, Y, and Z? What can I do to help her X, Y, and Z? And it was the same story. And they would talk about their their failures and their successes in the relationship. So I said, okay, something has to happen. They weren't being taught who women are. More importantly, how we can help them get their needs met because it's a cycle. When they were getting their needs met, she got her needs met. So then nobody was waiting for the other person to make the first move because there also ensues compassion and patience and all this other stuff that we forget about when we choose to have someone share our lives. So I got tired of seeing men suffer. I just couldn't take it anymore. So I said, okay, we're going to do something about this. And although I know there are men who help men and there's women who help men too, I wanted to do it from the perspective of giving them like the 360, helping them understand who women are, helping them understand themselves and helping them feel good about it, that it wasn't a weakness or a failure. So that's where this started for me. You know, you know what's interesting about that, I don't know how you, you do that. I, I can't wait myself. Um, my wife was like, uh, what, what type of conversation y'all having this evening? I said, no, she's going to teach us how to be the man. And um, <laughs> she looked at me like, whoa. Go. <laughs> Spend as much time as you need. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to learn, like, how you think, uh, like, literally. And, and mm-hmm. I'm going to learn some techniques that you won't know I'm doing. <laughs> oh, Shay. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm, I'm looking forward. I, I couldn't wait to this episode. But first, you, you share what your vision is for the people you were called to serve. And I like to slow down for a moment. Then we're going to speed up. And, Solanda, they can see you right now. Like, right now, they can see you and you, they can hear you. Mm-hmm. But, but, but Solanda, for all you watching, Solanda can't see you and she mm-hmm. can't hear you. So here's how you can communicate. Uh, Solanda right now, she's, she's on our personal page over at Shea Brown. She's in the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. You can look right below the video. You can look right below the video. And I want you to share your vision that you have for yourself. Um, so my vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. Now, many of you sometimes post that and we appreciate you posting it every night because the guests that are on, they want to know who you are and what your vision is. If you're hearing it for the very first time, here's our belief at the Happy Entrepreneurs Show. Mm-hmm. We believe that you have a vision for the people you were called to serve. I don't even work with salespeople. I don't. I don't. I believe the sales helps you develop the resources to support your vision, to develop your vision, and to deliver your vision. But, but the vision wasn't from you. We happen to believe in the Bible here. That just happened to be believe the Bible. It's not for everybody. I get that. But we believe in the good book, Noah. Noah got a vision from God, right? And it came to him from God. It wasn't from Noah. And then Noah had to execute that vision. But Noah needed the resources to execute that vision. He needed a hammer. He needed a nail. He, he needed people. He needed a community. He needed support. And just like you right now, you have a vision that was given to you by God. You got excited. You got the right purpose. You got the right passion. But you need the, vi- you need the resources. We'll get into that. You need to know how to communicate. We'll get into that. But first, I just want to hear what your vision is for the people you were called to serve. Now, here's how we're going to do it. Here's how we're going to do it here. You're going to look right below the vi- video. You're going to look right below the video and you're going to write these words. My vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. No, seriously, you're going to look right below the video and you're going to put my vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. Now, why are you doing that? Why is that important? Well, there are other folks right here in the Happy Entrepreneur Show, right in the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe that want to connect with you. And one of the things I've been sharing, Solanda, is that someone has the vision right now of finding you. 
So someone out there right now has the vision of finding a Salonda. I'm raising my hand, by the way. I'm raising my hand. Someone has the vision of finding you, and I want, I want you to help you help them. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to look right below the video. You're going to look right below the video, and you're going to put my vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. And then we'll go back, and we're going to recognize you. Uh, Cheryl Graham, thanks for joining, by the way. She says, each needs to know himself. Love it. Um, mm -hmm. Tiffany Brown Edwards is in the house. Hey, Tiffany, thanks a lot for joining. We certainly appreciate you in Salonda. And they're writing their vision right now for the people they were they were called to serve, like Sakoni Prince, who's out there right now. Sakoni Prince, he does something really amazing. Now, he's also married for a number of years, um, and he does a Monday motivation over the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. Isn't that pretty cool? He, like, just contributes. Yes. We don't send him a check. We don't send him a cash app. He just does it out of his heart, and I really appreciate that. Hey, Verna Brooks, thanks for joining. Prince said, Sakoni Prince says, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to help people understand the gift they've been given and how to use it to impact the world. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool, isn't it? Thanks yes. a lot for sharing. Um, uh, Cheryl Graham is from Mobile, Alabama. My vision for the people I'm called to serve is to support them and teach them the skills needed to create better choices to push beyond their behavior setbacks. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. Look, Verna, as you're joining right now, look right below the video, look right below the video and tell us what is your vision you have for the people that you were called to serve? You know, as, as you look out there and you, you've got a big task out here to help men um, really understand. And um, we're going to hear from women later. And I want to know what women want, or how women can be what the man, uh, what they're looking for in the man to be the man. But when you started that phrase, hashtag be the man, what were you thinking? What was going through your head? Um, I know you, you meet. She's a she's you know, she's a psychologist. I get it. Um, we'll read her bio later. I get it. And she's not here talking about the letters behind her name or some of the marquee clients and VIP clients she worked with. Just say, I just want to come serve. I want to help mm -hmm. men be able to communicate. So if, if you can, Solanda, um, take, a, take, a, take a moment and share, what's, how did you come up with this theme, Be the Man? That's kind of bold. Uh, yeah, it is. So I've gotten uh, either people like it or they don't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? It's all in perspective. So it's what a person hears and what's already going on inside of them is what determines what comes out in their thought process, right? Mm -hmm. For me, be the man is helping men be just that. Feel like they're the men in their relationships. I hear a lot of men complain that they don't get to be the man, which looks like being a leader, being respected for what they have to offer, being able to problem solve, perform, protect, provide. Oh, yes, like, so far. Or P. What's, what's the problem? You you already <laughs> checking all the boxes. Be the man. Be the problem solver. We're the, yes. People, I'm, I'm feeling good already. I feel like we might not even yes. need this show. I'm feeling good already. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy about that. Cause guess what? You are the man. Okay. Oh, see, she struck her ego. I love it. <laughs> Be the man is important to me because I really do care a lot about men. And I really mean that. I care about women too, but I really deeply care about men. The stories that I hear, they let me in their lives. I hear all kinds of things. And sometimes, you know, I have to keep this straight face in the therapy office, right? Mm -hmm. Or even when I'm coaching. But inside, I'm like, oh my God, that happened? Oh, wow. Oh, no, really? Was that what's really going on with you? And so they open up and share. I'll tell you, typically when a man comes to see me for a session and it's for 50 minutes, he'll spend about an hour just venting and dumping because mm -hmm. men typically keep stuff to themselves. And I also hear, and you can let me know if this is right or not. They talk to their friends, but not deep. They don't go too deep. Talk, talk about what? What are we still talking to our friends about? So relationships. Yeah. You don't talk about your relationships oh, too oh. deep with your friends. I, I, I agree with that. That's kind of, okay. that's not all okay. limits, but it's not, you know. Yeah. 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 Well, when they come in, I get a full 50 minutes of everything that's happened to them in the relationship and how it makes them feel. So I know men do feel some women think men don't feel, unfortunately, because they're not a hairy woman. They don't show their feelings like women do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So it's important to know that men still feel even though they're not wearing it on their faces, but they still feel. And that's the part I want to work with helping them still be in integrity with who they are as the protector, the provider, the performer, the problem solver. And women are, are providers too, so don't get me wrong, this is not exclusive, but we're talking about men and really what they're needing at this time. Times have really changed, especially since the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So to be the man, it's about having a space to step up and feel good about what you do in your relationships in your life. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like what I'm hearing. And as we were getting prepared for this episode, I Mm -hmm. I was thinking myself, I was like, okay, I'm going to solve the problem in the first half an hour, maybe for 15 minutes. Cause I I thought about this (laughs) seriously, seriously, seriously. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read people's vision in a moment, but I've already got the answer. Solana, you'd be proud of me. I did my homework before I arrived. Yeah, and I'm going to solve right. this problem. And so <laughs> women will no longer have this problem or guys won't have this problem. But um, and so I, I want to hear because I think it's just a communication thing. Right. I think mm-hmm. it's just a communication thing. And, and before I do that, let me just recognize a few folks out there. And then we're going to look, look, if you're a guy, I want to hear from you. If you're a woman, I want to hear from you. Like, but before I do that, because White is in the house. She says she I'm the I'm America's number one advisory accountant and tax expert from Oxnard, California. My vision for the people I'm called to serve is to serve and impact lives of business owners by helping them reduce tax liabilities. Uh, sign us up for that program and don't even say anymore. <laughs> reduce tax liabilities. I love it, by the way. I love it, by the way. Demita is in the house. Uh, Latanya Renee is in the house. Thanks for thanks for joining. Dee Bowden's in the house, by the way. Adi says, my vision for people I'm called to serve is to help transform mindsets from those folks who are stuck. Look, thanks for joining. I appreciate that. But I want to hear um, from a woman's perspective. You can look right below the video and just put what is your number one challenge? I'll let I'll let Solana ask you the question you have. Cause, but then because you know, I'm going to ask her to ask you, you know, what your perspective is. But I just want to mm-hmm. tell you that sometimes, in my opinion, I'm a happily married man now. I'm very happy. But in my day, it seems like that they don't say what they mean. I'm, I'm not being funny. Please don't, please don't send me no inboxes. Don't, don't beat me up on social media. We're just having a, a real open, frank conversation. Like they say what they don't mean. You know what I'm saying? Um, so for example, they may say something and I hear something entirely different. You know, does that, does that, does that make sense? Can you, oh, yes. can you hear me right now? <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Give me, give me, give me a scenario. She says, I hear what? What's, what's, What's a scenario? And I promise you, I promise you, we're going to fix this thing in 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're going to help people improve their lives. So give me a scenario <laughs> that women say that you you hear the women say. OK, so let's let's ask our listeners, our audience, our watchers. Let's let's get them in this because I want to hear what's going on with them. I like that. what is I like something, that. ladies, that you say to a man and he just doesn't get it at all. And you're just looking like, okay, wait, I was clear what happened. So give me a statement. It can be an easy statement. Okay. What so, you say to so what she's saying is look right below the video, look right below the video. She's going to mm-hmm. give instructions. We're going to read it. And then mm-hmm. Solana, tell them again, They're, give them a, give me an example. They're going to write, um, I said, I don't know, take out the trash and he didn't do it. I don't know yep. what it is, but can you give me, mm-hmm. can you give them a, a, a sample of what they may say just so they have an idea and, and you can jot that down right below. And then we're going to talk about that. So Solana, give them instructions. And you're going to write it right below the video, right below the video. Okay, absolutely. So you just fill in the blank, okay? Okay. Um, I need you to blank, take out the trash. Oh, gosh. Put, put gas in the car. Oh, gosh. <laughs> pick up some milk, eggs, bread. Okay, I need you to make a doctor's appointment. So what is it that you find yourself repeating? See, this, this is the juicy one right here. It's okay. that question that you are repeating that is not being fulfilled. It's not on the honey to-do list, but it's a question that you're repeating. Okay, oh, hold on, hold on. so it's not on the honey do list. It's a, what, say that again. It's a question. It's not repeating? on. Yeah, it's not on the honey to-do list, okay. right? This list of things that we would like our partner to do, right? Mm-hmm. Fix the screen door, you know, fix the crack in the wall, whatever. But this is a question that you find yourself having to ask often. You might not get the answer to the question the way you think it should be answered. You say, well, you're evading the question where you didn't answer me. Those are responses that you have towards him with whatever response he gives. Okay. Okay. Can can you you, you see the comments they're putting down there? Yes. yes. Okay. So can Uh you read some of that? Okay. Absolutely. Hey, Donnell Spivey. Well, you bring out the all-star salon. Donnell Spivey is an amazing past president of... uh, uh, the National Association of Realtors, amazing gentleman, by the way. Oh my goodness! Well, I'm glad everybody is on. Yeah, and now, I'm I want to pay close attention because <laughs> I'm trying to hear what she's saying on this side. Trust me. 
right, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here's to Nicole Brown Hurston. She said, I asked him to be a better communicator. That okay, I asked I him to be much. a better communicator. All right. <laughs> Whoever you're talking to is already talking too much. All right. Uh, what about Pamela? Pamela says. Okay. Pamela says, uh, it's time to get married after 15 years. <laughs> Is there a hmm on that one or just a silence? What's happening with that one, Pamela? <laughs> okay. Does he take too long to answer? So you start thinking for him with what the answer is? Because mm -hmm. that why, why does she put, how come I always got to ask you? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. How come I always have to ask you? But why do they always got to ask that question? Like, ask me what? You know what I mean? How come you always ask me what? Okay, anyway. <laughs> Okay, okay. No, Shay, okay, wait, hold on, hold on before you go forward. See, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. That's that's the thing. What is what is the thing? Did I miss something here? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And then you and I have had a discussion about this, okay? okay. Is that and don't, when don't tell all my business about what we had a discussion about. I mean, I will be transparent, but don't God, don't don't put all my okay, stuff out okay. there. Okay, oh okay. <laughs> Okay, no, I won't. I won't. I won't tell. Although you're kind of telling on yourself, though, so I have to. Uh, <laughs> oh, I am. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you kind of. But that's okay, right? Okay. So, men typically need direction to something, a who, what, when, or why. Okay. When you ask them a question, you have to be very direct with the question. It's not so. Okay, well, can you go to the store? Right? Can you go to the store to pick up X, Y, and Z? Well, he's probably going to say, okay, yeah, sure. But guess what? You didn't tell him when, right? You need that because he's thinking, okay, well, she didn't specify, so I got all day to get it. <laughs> There's no rush, right? Does that happen? There's yeah. no rush. Right. right. And she really needs the, these items probably within the next hour. But there was no clarification. Mm. And if you have to ask, because <laughs> mm -hmm. that... If you have to ask, it probably means he doesn't want to deal with it in that moment. Either you've had some confrontations about it before, mm -hmm. right? Um, or either he's felt like he can't win. Have you ever heard the term, ladies, I can't win with you? I can't make you happy. Mm. That means that he is not going to voluntarily put himself in a position where he cannot score points with you. And this is men speak. When I say win, succeed, score points, all it is is really they want to make you happy. They want to do things so that they can continue to make you happy and then reap the benefit. Do you know what the benefit is? Yes. Yes. <laughs> What's the benefit, Shay? Benefit is more uh, quality time. Yes, absolutely. Yes. It's more quality time. <laughs> oh, smile oh, smile <laughs> I love that. And so I believe that there's a lot that has to take place. What I found when it comes to communication between men and women is that there are hormone hormones very specific to each of us and they're measured at different levels that dictate how we communicate. And here's, here's the big piece about that. If we knew that many of our reactions were hormone based, we wouldn't have to take it personally when our partner responds in a certain way, because it really is a hormone thing and a gender thing. Do you want me to give you an example? Yeah, because I'm lost yeah, on that one. I mean, I, okay. I, I mean, um, yeah. I mean, like, like intellectually, I get it, but I'm mm -hmm. trying to see where you're going. So yeah, break Absolutely. that thing down for me. Not for, okay, let's, not let's for the break audience. It down. Audience, the other, the other guys, I'm sure got it. You got to help me out on this one. <laughs> okay, okay. So, and I want the, um, I want everyone to, to if you don't understand what I'm saying, please ask questions, okay? Because this is also a learning space. All right, this is a learning space. So let's say you and I are having a conversation, mm -hmm. okay? And it's going good up until a certain point, right? And I say to you, uh, Shay, mm -hmm. can you please go and pick up my car tomorrow? And you'll say to me. Uh, tomorrow, sure. Okay, sure. I'll say, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And the conversation is done, right? right. So right. what are you doing in that moment about that car? I'm doing absolutely nothing. I'm thinking like, why did I go get the car? Like, why are you <laughs> asking to go do something you can do yourself? Unless you can't do it. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But, You're trying to figure out why am I asking you to do something that I can do myself, right? And, and, see, yeah, see, you're already there. That's exactly okay. what I was thinking. That moment, like, 
why are you trying to make me go do something? That's what I was really thinking. You want to make me go do something that yep. I've got to do. It's going to be this big argument. Yes. See, it's the translation. Okay. Many times men and women don't like talking about things in, I, I call it a broken down version. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we ask a question, but we think, I'm asking you a question. It's very simple. But if you're not providing the who, what, when, where, and why, then it really is unresolved. It's not clear with what you want. Okay. Shay, can you go and pick up my car tomorrow by noon? Because I have a meeting at three. Oh, well, that's different. Now I, you need me. You need some help. I'd be happy to help you out. Yep. You get score some points, right? Mm -hmm. right because you, you're, you're helping. Need help. She asked me mm -hmm. if I help her out. So, you know, yes. I want to do it. It's the words that we use. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the tone. It's the timing. All of these things are super important when it comes to delivery. Mm -hmm. We tend to make assumptions when we speak. Many people make a statement and then call it a question. Well, you didn't come home last night when you said you were supposed to. Is that a statement or a question? Statement. <laughs> it's a statement, but yeah. I really meant it as a question. Where were you last night? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you were supposed to be home by 11 p.m. and you were not here. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So that causes friction in itself. It's so important that we start asking questions so that we can have a quicker resolution. Mm. Okay? So as a woman hormonally based, that we have higher levels of oxytocin. So that means we want to connect more. That's why many women can have several conversations at one time. She can talk to her mom on the phone. She can stir a pot of soup. She could tell the boys to pick up their toys from the middle of the floor, mm -hmm. right? She can hold that. She wants to connect. She wants to tell you the whole story because during the day, she has this like proverbial basket that she's holding and she's putting things in there every day. At the end of the day, she has to let it go. Mm. And most of the time she's looking at her man and then she just lets go. She lets loose. She tells everything about her day. And then soon what happens? What do you do? Well, then I just sit there and I'm listening with a blank face. Yeah, a blank face. Have you ever picked up your phone in the middle of a conversation? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, have you ever tried to sneak glances at the TV if it was on or if something was playing on the computer? Absolutely. Okay. Guilty. I'm the only one, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, that's because men typically, depending on, they might be a therapist or lawyer, maybe they've, they've mastered this art of listening, but because of the testosterone, men are not able to hold the attention that long. And, and it's okay, it's a hormone thing. This is not about competition. This is not about beating up on someone because they can't do what a woman does. It's about honoring that he probably isn't able to hold the energy that long. He wants the bullets. Mm -hmm. Give me the bullets. Okay. So it's not, yeah, Sandra and I went to that party and she wore this polka dot dress with these striped shoes and this pink purse and it just didn't match. And she had a hard time getting up the stairs in those five inch heels. And I don't even know why she wore them in the first place. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you yeah, know I'm, how I'm we do, it, right? Yeah. Okay. What are you waiting for? Like what happened? When I'm talking. Like what's the What point? happened? Yeah, yeah get to the point. Yeah. Like, why are you telling me this? Give me the bullets. Right. Okay, well, she made it up the stairs in those five-inch heels without hurting herself like last time mm -hmm. because you had to go and take her to the hospital. So you want to know if you're going to have to help or not. Men listen in two ways, mm -hmm. typically. And and fellas who, who's, you know, in the chat, if you disagree, let me know. If you agree, agree let me know. Okay. Okay? Men listen in two ways. One, they listen for the problem, or they listen for praise or rejection. Yeah, but, but yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm feeling you. Scientifically, this sounds great. Intellectually, a wonderful conversation. But mm -hmm. okay, here's here's the question. If can I just ask a question, guys? If you have a question, yeah. you can ask a question. Whenever you have a question. Yes, 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 but, yes, yes. But it seems like when you do jump in, mm -hmm. and someone made a comment about that, and you want to help. Mm -hmm. She gets annoyed even when you're trying to fix the problem, right? Like, you know, you, you, you know <laughs> I, I'm like, okay, I'm already, I'm already there. I got the answer. Now, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm a genius. That's not what I'm saying. But sometimes I got the answer. So I'm like, look, this is all we're going to do. And she gets annoyed when I'm fixing the problem that's going to probably save maybe a 45-minute conversation. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I'm asking if I'm going to be the man, what are some things in all seriousness? Now, I want, I want to hear about this part that she's different and I'm different. I get all that. I, the audience needs to hear that. So it's for the audience. Yeah, I get that. 
So mm-hmm. I'm just trying to figure out, in all seriousness, like, I'm trying to fix the problem, and she gets angry and she gets annoyed. And I'm okay. fixing the problem. She says, I don't need you to fix the problem. I'm like, well, you just gave me the problem. You just told me the problem. You went through all this detail about this problem. And mm-hmm. I'm saying exactly what to do. Or I'm giving you a suggestion mm-hmm. on what to do. And she says, okay. I just need to hear you. I'm like, <laughs> to myself, okay. Okay. And then okay. she says, you're not listening. Well, I am listening. You don't want me to fix the problem, so what do you want me to do? I mean, I feel like I'm stuck. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean Absolutely. So, I mean, maybe you'll, you'll get to that later, but I'm kind of mm-hmm. curious myself, and I might be the only person out there kind of thinking, what are some things you can do when you find yourself in that situation? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So you want me to break that down now or later? <sighs> I got it off my chest. I feel good. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I thought there was a motive. Okay. <laughs> so she said to you, you're not listening, right? Right. That's the key. More than likely... She just wanted you to listen without responding. But because maybe she doesn't know yet that you are a person of action and that you want to solve it because that's what helped you feel like you are the man. You're being the man by solving the problem. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. I can follow that so far. Okay. Remember earlier I said that women carry a basket and they put things in it throughout the day that they collect information. They might see something you know, for somebody it's July, you're like, oh, I can get that for Randy for Christmas, right? So she she keeps all this stuff on her mind and it goes into this basket. At the end of the day or at some point of the day, she needs to empty the basket. So when she's talking to you, she's literally emptying that basket. She doesn't need you to solve anything. She just needs you to hold the space, which is listening, mm-hmm. while she dumps all of that stuff out, right? Because mm-hmm. she's going to have to replenish and then she's going to fill it up again the next day. I get that men want to feel like the hero, right? Mm-hmm. Or you want to just be able to give to her. Mm-hmm. You're still giving by listening. And I really want you to hear that. And this is something I have to really tell men is that you want to feel like you're still helping by listening. You don't always have to solve a problem to really help her. Now, you may want to put a cap on how long she's talking if you can't handle it because what what happens is when you start looking around and you're not paying attention, Mm -hmm. then she's like, okay, you're not listening to me. You never listen to me. You know, you're ignoring me. And then when I ask you a question about it later, you don't even know what what I've said, right? You get accused of that. Right. Right. So the tip here is right now, usually don't give out free tips, but this is a free tip. Okay. (laughs) I'm I'm giving out a free tip. (laughs) Someone, someone please write this note down for me for every guy that's listening right now. I'm listening. Um, because I feel like, I do feel like it's like a pop quiz. What, yes. what, did I, well, what did I just say? Gee whiz, I can't repeat every detail you just said. I mean, <laughs> you, know, you can't possibly expect me to remember all that stuff. Just listen. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's the tip. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm listening. Ask her if babe, pookie, boo, whatever you call her, right? Do you want me to solve the problem or just listen? Because then you can prepare yourself. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Say, say, that, say that again. I've never asked okay. that. That's, that's, that's pretty good, Solanda. Yeah, I'm that's... telling you. This is a hot tip now. I'm telling no, you. No, look, I want I'll to be the man. So, okay. <laughs> so when she does all this talking, right, mm-hmm. I can save myself a lot of stress. Yes. And guys, you just, you just tune in and listen. I know it's kind of hard to be transparent in a situation like this. And we mm-hmm. would want to be as transparent in an audience this big, but you can still contribute in. Um, yeah. There's a question that I could ask. Mm-hmm. And what's the question again, Solana? Because I'm going to use this. I mean, I'm, I'm not using okay. it, but I want to, I, I like this question because it just seems like it's going to save a whole lot of stuff. Okay. So when I come to one of your two homes, I want to have lunch with you and your wife so that I can ask her if you're using these tools. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got it. Whether you come to San Antonio or you in Washington, D.C., you can sit down and I'm going to say, Solanda, do you want me to listen? Or do you want me to answer the question? What do you, what do you, what do you want me to do, Solanda? Is that it? Was that it? Yes, that's it. That's it, Shay. Okay. I really just want you I'm to like, listen. No, I'm, I'm writing that. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm going to write that down. No, because I, I, I want everyone to write this down. Do you? No, I'm serious. I'm trying to find my notepad while we're talking. But do me, do me a favor. For those folks that are my digital note takers out there, look mm-hmm. right below the video while I'm going over here to pull up my notepad. Look okay. right below the video and put the question. What's the question? What, what's the words they got, they got to say again, Solanda? Okay, do you want me to solve the problem or just listen? Okay, so do okay. you want me to solve the problem or mm-hmm. do you want me to just listen? So yes. right now, Solana, if you want to know what we're doing, 
we're going to the digital board. You're going to see mm -hmm. it in a minute. You see this digital board? Yeah. I got to yeah. take you off over here so we okay. can make sure we can they, they can see the digital board. All and right. Do you see the do you see the digital board? Yes. Oh, good. Cuz I can't see the digital board. Okay. okay. Now I can see the digital board. Thank you guys. Now I'm going to put I'm going to put tip number 1. Now guys, now I know you might not be like me. That's okay. But I'm going to get me some points. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Solanda? Okay. So, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm going to put down uh, point tip number one. Number one tip. This is one tip. Mm -hmm. I'm taking my own notes, but someone someone put that known. <laughs> oh, it's Crystal yeah, Cunningham. Yeah, sure, Graham put it there. Yeah, Thank and you, Crystal. Crystal. Do you yeah, yeah. want me to solve the problem or just listen? Now, likely she's going to say, I want you to, well, I don't know what she's going to say, but I need you to listen and give me some advice. I don't know. But do you want me to solve? What if, what if she says that? What if she says, well, I need you to listen and then, you know, tell me what you think. Does that mean then I, do I got to listen and solve the problem? I then do, do both. And, and here's, here's the thing, too. I, before we start, I want to, Michael Muse said, sometimes when I listen and don't offer advice, then I don't care. Okay, that's valid. That happens. What you can do is actually tell her what you're doing, Michael. You can say, I want to listen because I want to make sure I get everything. Do you want me to give you advice or do you just want me to listen and hold the space? You so you can ask this question right at the beginning when you feel a conversation coming on. Wait, 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 babe. Wait, babe. Do you want me to listen or do you want me to solve the problem? Because I really want to be with you here. And for some men, you may have to say to her, babe, I'm good for two minutes. I'm good for five oh, I like minutes. That. I like that. <laughs> you know, you got me for 10. You know, I don't want to make you think I'm not listening. But really, you know, that's like my attention span. And that's why education about men and women, hormones, biology is so important. I personally think we should have courses in our schools that teach about the differences between men and women and how to have conversation. Okay. okay. I really do believe that. And it's so important to know how to communicate. Yeah. And, and it should be a motivation. Like when you go to work, everybody gets up and they go to work to get what? Paid. Paid. Big pay. Well, in your relationship, you should get up and go to work to get what? Uh, points. <laughs> points. Yes. Men say points. Women will probably say <laughs> more love or affection. But yes, you are absolutely right. More we have love, to find more a affection. Story. I like that. Okay, yes. That's fine. Yes. But is, you know, it all, all the okay. same thing. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay. so, okay. I'm, I'm falling along so far. Um, Jacqueline Fulton says she's out there. Look, for all of my note takers that are out there and watching everyone out there, do me a favor. Solana came on. She said she, I could be transparent. She's going to be transparent. Look right below the video. And let's all welcome Solanda right now. Just look right below the video and write these words. You are doing great at Solanda. Oh, That's S-U-L-O-N-D-A. You. you are doing great. Or you look wonderful. Or you look amazing. Let's, let's give her a little bit of feedback just so she knows she's doing a good job because she's like, Shay, you know, this is just one of those Aww. touchy subjects, but I'm only coming on. And I'm talking about how to be the man. I'm not coming yes. in to talk about you, but I'm going to talk about how men can have better relationships with their wives, mm -hmm. better relationships in a, with, with their uh, committed, someone they're committed to, better mm -hmm. relationships with their family or with their kids. And she didn't come on and say, well, no, you got to listen more. She's breaking it down scientifically. There's help. And I'm taking some notes. I'm walking mm -hmm. away myself personally. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a personal session. I didn't have to write a check. And she's sharing it with the world, by the way. But it, it really goes a long way. So just look right below the video. Crystal Cunningham says, great job, Solanda. Uh, Mimi says, you are doing great, Solanda. Michael Mew says, you're doing great. Pamela Usher says, you're doing awesome. Thanks a lot. Margaret McCoy says, you are amazing. And you're talking about right now what we can do. And I like it, Solanda, because so far you, uh, you're not beating anybody up. No. <laughs> um, I've been behind the scenes with you a few times. I know you can get down with the get down, but she comes from a place of servicing and a place of helping other folks. So as you're out there right now, let's just give her a digital applause and look right below the oh, video and says, thank you. you're doing great. You got Patsy in the house says you're doing great. Patsy's over in Kansas City, an amazing person, by the way. Leroy McKenzie, they're all amazing, says great stuff, Solanda. Cheryl Graham says, Cheryl, like the singer Cheryl says, you're doing awesome, mm -hmm. Solanda. Solanda, you're looking good. Um, you're doing great, and we're all taking notes. I even got my digital, you know, it's not often I bring up my digital board, right? When I bring up my digital board, that means <laughs> I'm like in the front of the room. I try to do it as much as I can. Sometimes I yes. can't. But this is one of those conversations. She's talking about be the man, and she has a whole conference she's doing on be the man. 
I, I, we'll, we'll come back to that. Yes, we'll come back yes, to that. yes, yes. We'll, okay. We'll come back to that. So mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still struggling, not struggling, but, um, and, and for those folks out there, hit, just, hit, just hit the heart button. The heart button means you're loving it. You just, look, just hit the heart button. Maybe you're listening and saying, Shay, I got to just listen. I'm tuning in. Just hit the heart button. That's just a little signal that, hey, I feel you. I'm with you. We're all going to get better at communicating. We're all going to get a little bit better. One of the things the superstars, the champions, the successful, the happy entrepreneurs, we all hold one common belief. Just, just one, just one, just one, just one. And do you know what that belief is? That belief is we can always get better. Mm -hmm. And so we're just working on one area. We believe that the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. So we're talking about results in your life, but it's going to transfer over to results in your bank account. So I'm going to ask you to tune in. You, you might not run up and down shouting on the aisles. You might not be saying hallelujah and jumping around. But here's what I know about Solanda, that when you use and implement these ideas that she share in your life, um, this is one of those lifetime value type of conversations. In all seriousness, I mean, um, mm -hmm. I love every happy, entre happy entrepreneur show episode mm -hmm. I do, but there's mm -hmm. some that are just game changers. There, there's some that you take one idea and you implement it for the rest of your life. She gave one yes. idea up here earlier mm -hmm. that, that I really loved, and I'll just read it back, and then we want to talk a little more because there is another challenge we know that we have that's out there, and I don't know if you can see it. Let me. Oh, I think I got to move the screen over, don't I? Do, do, do. Can you can you see the words or are they coming off the screen? Let me see. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. They're moving so in. the first one was when you're talking, instead of trying to jump in and ask the question, one thing she said, Dominique, one of the things she says, Jacqueline, she says, great advice. Uh, she wants them dating over 50. It is unfair to expect a man to take a woman out to dinner. Oh, boy. She, they, they come up with questions already, Solanda. <laughs> Over 50. Is over 50 different than under 50? Look, I'm, I'm in the over 50 category. All right. It's going to be all right. But I'm sorry. Jacqueline, do you want me to listen or do you want me to solve your problem? No, I'm joking. Um, tip number two, do you want me to listen or do you want me to ask advice? And then if you're tired, I'm, this is the Shea Brown remix version of what she said, by the way. Y'all were here, some of you. But if you're tired or you're distracted or you got things going on, then you can say, hey, look, you got me for five minutes. You got me for three minutes. But my attention span right now is a little short. Can we come back to it? But you know the problem is you say that, Solana, she's going to expect you to come back. Like, for some reason, she doesn't forget. And she says, you said you would blank. Yes. Now, how do I respond to that? Because she said, you said you would do this. I'm like, oh, that, when did I say that? Like, then it bounced me. I did say that, right? <laughs> so, um, but anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about some more serious stuff. But she's going to say, if I say, you only have me for 10 minutes, you got me. She's mm -hmm. going to say, okay, can we talk about it later? And trust me, she's going to bring it up later. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so this is where the education comes in. And for those, you know, <clears throat> for those who are listening, for those who are watching, setting a premise is important because I had to think about that because there's there's just so much that I could give. And if it's not in a solid context, people go and try to use these things and they don't <laughs> work because there's there's a whole <laughs> you know tool set that we need to grab from the pull in, right? right? So I'm working on giving you something that is easy to do and to communicate. All right. Mm -hmm. Now you have to explain why you only got 10 minutes because your attention span is not very long and you don't want to be disrespectful towards her. Ooh, okay. Like you don't want to, like you don't want her to feel like you're not with her and that mm -hmm. you don't care. Like Michael said earlier, I don't want you to think I don't care. Mm -hmm. So I know for myself, 10 minutes is max where I can be there and really help. Okay. If you want to have a longer conversation about something, mm -hmm. okay. Cause typically women want to talk out things and give several examples and points, which I don't agree with. And there's a reason ladies, okay. uh, I would want you as a man to say, babe, I got 10 minutes because I really want to focus in on you and help solve this problem. We can talk about it later, but I still will only probably have 10 minutes. I can give you more if we're talking back and forth. Okay. If we're exchanging back and forth. So really what this is, is that you have to sit down and set a new paradigm to your relationship and your communication. Oh, okay. These are, these are, Hey babe, guess what? I read online. Um, I listened to this, this woman named Solanda. She kind of sound like she know what she talking about, oh, no. you know, and, and, and she says some really good points and I want to try it out. Cause I really want to make you happy. And I really want to get problem solved because you know, we've been having problems communicating. We got to do something. Mm -hmm. So this is what she said to do. Okay. So you can get excited about sharing it. 
you know, not going to the person like you peed off about even having to go and talk to her. Cause you know, we do that a lot. Mm -hmm. We think that by showing our emotion or dissatisfaction, we're going to get movement out of the other person. Well, we are not, we're going to get the wrong movement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're not going to get a movement to help us practice this new paradigm. So I just wanted to say that that's very important to be willing to learn about who women are, to learn about who men are. Let's do this differently. That's my mission. Like, that's what I want to do. I want to shake up how we do relationships and to start to do it differently than how we were taught, either verbally or by watching our caregivers. Friendship and compassion are so important to building and creating healthful and sustainable relationships. You said friendship, friendship. And, Friendship and passion. And compassion. Give us, give us your compassion. definition. Give us your definition. You say, I mean, I'm listening. I heard you. Not sure mm -hmm. I understand this friendship and compassion. What your what your mm -hmm. view of the world is? How's that? Is that pretty good? What your view yes. of the world? Is? So can you tell us what, what your definition is and what you mean by that? Absolutely. A friendship. I believe that relationships should start on the friendship level. That means I'm getting to know all the stuff about you, all your quirks, <laughs> all your issues, all your shortcomings everything juicy about you, I want to know. And I've already accepted that thing about you. So when we decide to get into a relationship and we're on this parallel journey together, mm -hmm. that neither of us gets in each other's way to get our life lessons, but yet we're holding a space for the other person to learn and grow without interference. Everything that happens to your partner doesn't have to be a direct reflection or pain or something against you. You can observe it and say, oh, wow, my babe's going through this thing. I feel for him or her, you know, but that's their journey. So what can I do? Compassion, like that's this elus elusive term, right? Like what is compassion? Yeah, it's so I was wondering, I was wondering where you were going with that one. Yeah. <laughs> like ideally, I want to say, you know, unconditional compassion. But mm -hmm. compassion is being able to say, yes, I'm on this planet with another human being. And they're going through things just like I am. And ideally, I don't want to judge what their path looks like, but I want to help them through it. So everything that they go through isn't a personal vendetta against me. Mm. It may hurt me, but I'm going to have compassion because I want them to heal. Do you remember the movie, The War Room? Is that the yeah. name of it? Yeah. yeah I'm okay. Sure. So you remember when she changed things by praying for her partner, mm -hmm. forgiving herself for getting into that space right? Mm -hmm. And she also prayed for her partner because she switched how she saw him. She saw him as another human being trying to make it on this planet, okay, and do the best they can while they're here instead of making it a personal thing against her. And that's when things shifted. Now, had they got together again later or not, the point is, is that she would have been removed from the pain eventually because she could let it go. So that's what I mean by forging a friendship and having compassion as the basis of your relationship. I like that. Friendship and Friendship. compassion. I, I like that. And what I'm hearing is, is ask better questions as well. I think Cosette White had written that down there as well, that to ask better questions and have more clarity when you're having the conversation. Um, but this is good. I mean, th this is like way different than I thought. It, it, it's really amazing. As I'm listening to you, I'm, I'm thinking, what if she says something and I hear something different? You know what I mean? Um, I'll give you an example. I, I'll give you an example. Just as an example, I probably won't get in trouble for this. But just okay. today, we were in the car, and we're driving in the car. And mm -hmm. we reached a place. We are going to get some pizza. We reached a place, and they had it all roped off, right? They were doing construction around the building. It's a little tape. And I said, you can go around. She says, no, mm -hmm. I can't. So she makes a U-turn. She's driving. And I said, mm -hmm. no, there was a clear pathway that way. And she's like, so you're going to tell me what I saw. Why do you always tell me what I saw? I said, well, I saw the same thing, and it was not there. Now, unfortunately, this time I was wrong. There's a few times I've been wrong, by the way. So we drove all the way around and came to the right. Which, See, I told you it was over there. And I was like, that's not, that's not what I saw earlier. So my, 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 my point of telling you that is, um, you know, sometimes they say things, but I hear something entirely different. Does that, does that, does that make sense? Now, I get oh, yeah. the clarity. Mm -hmm. So I'm mm -hmm. trying to see how I can get clarity around those things so you don't find yourself in a situation. But you didn't use those words. You always tell me what I saw. But I, I, yes. I tell you, Solanda, I tell you, I saw it was blocked off. Like we could have went around the other side. But mm -hmm. she saw something entirely different. And I'm thinking, mm -hmm. okay, maybe she heard something different too. Of course, mm -hmm. I know it's coming to this call. So I remember that. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to tell Solanda this. This is crazy. She tells mm -hmm. me I always tell her what she sees. 
I got to mm-hmm. understand what you saw. <laughs> Absolutely. She said he heard this. <laughs> what, what, what now? Say, say, say she again. said, right blank, uh-huh. he heard this. All right. So she right? said he mm-hmm. heard this. Uh, mm-hmm. everyone, everyone, everyone do me a favor. I like that. I like that. I, I, want, I want to talk about this for a moment. Everyone look right below the video. Look right below the video and just mm-hmm. write these words. She said blank. He heard blank. Just, we, we're gonna, Solana, you, you better figure this out. I, I like this. I like this. <laughs> you look right below the video now. You look right below the video and put she said blank. He heard blank. And so I'm going to ask her to give me some examples about that because I saw something and she mm-hmm. saw something different. But she said, no, 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 no. She said, mm-hmm. and you heard this. So what, yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to understand what I'm hearing differently. And men, this is how another way to be the man. Don't worry. I'm going to ask her to give you five ways you could be the man. I'm gonna, we're going to get to that. She has a <laughs> list of things to, a mile long on how you can be the man. I'm going to come back to that. She's like, Shay, we don't have no questions. Shay, there's no run sheet. Shay, I said, just show up. Have some ideas for the guys. Don't worry about that. I'm, for I'm curious. Up. She said, he heard. Okay, Sikoni Prince. See, Sikoni, Sikoni, he's married. He gets this. He's putting, she said, he heard. They got the blanks there. Charlene Day. Charlene Day, you're in for a treat. Charlene Day is cool. She's a bad <laughs> sister, by the way. Margaret said, she said, he heard. All right, all right, so we're going to play this game. I don't know what the game is, but Solanda, you heard what I said, right? You said, I didn't say this, what I heard you say, Solanda, was she said, <laughs> Shay, you heard. All right, can you, can you help me out here? Can you, can you walk me through this a little bit? Okay, absolutely. Hey, Patsy, so I wanna... Patsy, Patsy put, she said, he heard. Charlene <laughs> says, hello, tell me about this. She said, he heard thing. We're all okay, I love it. Line to talk to us. You I got, love you it. Got, you I love it. All love of it. us. Okay, so first I want to say that men and women see things differently. If you ask a man and a woman what color the same wall is, more than likely they will say different colors, but it will be in the same wheelhouse. Huh? Okay, in my office, I'll ask a man and woman what color is that wall. He says, "Uh, it's brown." She says, "Oh, it's like a cream." <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can see that. Right. Same wheelhouse, but different perspective. And that's how men and women hear things and see things. Different words mean different things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Different expressions of the word mean different things. Also, in your case of driving, because she thinks and see things a different way than you, not only just from a gender perspective, but from a personality and behavior perspective, she just saw another route and she took that route. When that happens, I would suggest you just be patient and let the person take the route and figure out it wasn't the best route. That's the best thing that you can do because if you try to correct them later, they'll be more defensive. They'll, it's like you're setting up this, this um, behavior pattern in the mind to be defensive whenever Shay says something about my driving or tries to tell me to go right or left. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you just have to acquiesce. You have to pull back and just let the person have that experience. Okay. And then you can always say later, so, babe, you know, was that the best way still for you? You know, so you look at him or her and you say that. And then you just wait for the response. You don't say it sarcastically. OK. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, sometimes people got to put that spin on it. Right. And that's not helpful. What I said is I would have done that. I said I would have done that. I would have just went around that way. <laughs> just, well, I'm driving. I'm like, yeah, but yeah. But now no, I no, know no. what not to say. Yes, not to do. And body language is such a big thing, too. Sure. Body language, okay? Mm-hmm. That's so important when you're talking to someone. That eye contact is very important. Being present, listening, having patience, okay? Now, she said, I have a headache. Uh-oh. He, oh, he wait, wait, heard. Wait, so, 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 fellas, okay, okay. <laughs> she said, what did, what, did, what, did, what did she say? I have a headache. All right, so. Now, you might not want to be transparent, but we heard she said, I have a headache. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm thinking, what did we hear? Right. That's that's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. Yes, yes, she yes, yes. She said, I have a headache. <laughs> we hear what? I'm hearing no point what? tonight. Yes. I'm hearing leave me alone for now. Yes. And that's what I and Now, to me, Solanda, that's very simple. That's very plain. She was mm-hmm. very clear. She said, mm-hmm. I have a headache. Mm-hmm. Code for no points and leave me alone. Okay. 
I mean, I'm, but that's I, not I always be, the case. I should be pretty close. I mean, I, woman, yes. I want to, I want to get your perspective. You say I have a headache. What are you <laughs> saying? You can write that down. If you want to be transparent, you don't have to be. <laughs> but I'm gonna get Salanda and all her experience. Now she does do counseling. She still works one on one in relationships. Her focus is on men, helping men like like me. So uh, you know, be able to to communicate and understand this relationship thing here that's going on with all these dynamics. It's like writing yes. code. It gets more complicated <laughs> than writing code. It's probably easier to write code. It's easier to build a website than it is to deal with all this other stuff. Um, yes. But one thing I know is that we can get better. So we're going. We're doing a little, a little, a little. Not say a game, but we're, we're doing some scenarios. She said something. I heard something. All right, Salanda. Mm-hmm. Um, she said okay. I got a headache. Um, mm-hmm. Now I know there's a lot of scenarios here, but what could possibly be different than what, what could be different than no what she said? And leave me alone. <laughs> I'm being kind because we we're on the internet. I can say whatever words I want, but I'm be kind. This is a yes. business conversation. Yes, 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 no yes, point. yes. Leave me alone. Yes. I'm probably but I'm that's... probably I'm probably pretty close on this one, fella. You could be, but that's not always the case. See, what happens is men will automatically jump to what it is that they're getting or not going to get because men are very action people. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're saying this to me for a reason is the first thing that he starts to think. Why are you saying this out loud? What am I supposed to do with that? Right. He starts looking around. He's searching in his mind. Why are you telling me this? And then his interpretations of, oh, man, we just going straight to sleep tonight. <laughs> right. And that's yes. what he thinks. Yes. 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 And it could be that she just said, oh, I have a headache. You know, maybe she'll take some aspirin. Maybe she'll, you know, hit some acupressure points and get rid of it. Right. Yeah. yeah. But that's how quick it happens. Hmm. When she says this thing here, he interprets it as another way. However, what he can do is say what's on his mind. Okay, babe, does that mean that we're going straight to sleep tonight? Instead of making an assumption that that's what it is, at least give her the opportunity to fix what's happening in your mind Ooh. or to, oh, or oh, to. That's, that's, that's good. I'll write that down. So I need to ask a question. Yes. Oh. I mean, mm-hmm. my mind, I see the world through a sales lens. Uh, this is how I see the world. It might not be how y'all see the world. So mm-hmm. what I heard you say was when she says something, and we'll, we'll, we'll do a few more of these so I can get it, but I need to come back with some type of clarification question. Is that, is that what I'm hearing? Yes, clarify. Many men don't like to clarify <clears throat> because they don't want to appear like they don't have it all together. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, they don't want to appear like they may be... Um, accepting something yet that hasn't been identified men typically don't like to be proven wrong okay okay and that's one of the issues that i find uh with communication nobody wants to go the extra mile to find out if that's really what this is about okay i'm 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 making a note to myself I'm just saying okay. when she says something, we're going to do a few more of these, but when she says something, I, I need to ask a clarifying question to get yes. more detail. Yes, 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 absolutely. And thank you so much for that, Jacqueline, letting me know that I'm doing a great job. Thank you. It's important if you have questions, you know, go ahead and put them in, in the chat and I'll see if I can answer them for you. Because what we're doing is we're considering relationships in a different way now. I think by default, we were taught that, okay, you're attracted to somebody, you get to know, you see if they can provide us with this, that, and the other, and then you're in a relationship. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This is what I find really interesting. I think, and I could be wrong, anybody can let me know, Mm -hmm. I think that many of our relationships are based on the Disney princess movies. The what movies? The Disney princess movies. Because what happens is that she always needs rescuing, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, she she needs rescuing. And he hardly ever has a personality. He just comes and saves the day. Mm-hmm. Right? And there's no backstory about him. There's no extra information about who he is. You know, what makes him a great person. It's all about her. And what I'm finding is this fairy tale concept in many of the talks that I have with women in terms of how they see men in their lives. Mm. And it's a detriment and it's a programming that happens. 
And that's why that's how we actually function with relationships. It's a programming. It's how we saw our caregivers get along mm -hmm. or not. And it, and even though you might have said to yourself, I'm never going to be that way. I'm never going to be that way. Guilty, guilty. <laughs> because it's so programmed deeply in our, in our subconscious, we end up being that way. Hmm. Okay. You know, I, I like, I, I love what I'm hearing. And I know that, that, that you have a conference, uh, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, be the man, ATL.com. Be the man, ATL.com. Um, your conference is for Ben. Um, women can come, I'm sure, but it's, it's targeting <laughs> men and it's helping us kind of navigate through this thing called relationships, through relationship mm -hmm. or relationship that we're in. Yeah. And um, you, you did the, the she said he heard. Can we just do maybe two or three more of those type of scenarios? I, I just want to just want to kind of play out and see if I'm if I'm in sync, uh, um, not on how to respond, but how. I may be responding or how other men may be responding. And we're not all going to be transparent and say, that's me, got me. Well, that's probably not going to happen. It's probably not going to happen. Yes. But, 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 but that, not in a, not in the audience yes. this big, but, but we can still walk away with the principle. So can you give me two or three more of those scenarios? And then we, I want to talk about this conference, Be The Man ATL, um, because one of the things I'm going to encourage is to be there on the front row, um, mm -hmm. to be there. Uh, maybe send your husband there, your mate there, your, someone you're committed to or, your, your son or, or your mm -hmm. nephew or someone that you just want to support. But um, give me a few more of these scenarios. I like this. She said, oh, yeah. he heard. She said, this is fun. he heard. Yeah, this is fun. People like these. Okay, so she said, where is this relationship going? Oh, gosh. Ladies, how question. many times have you asked a man that <laughs> in your life? How many times have you asked that? Or do you know a girlfriend or family member that have asked that question? Where is this relationship going? Okay. Why did why did they have to ask that question all the time? Okay, forget it. Forget that's that's topic another time. Topic for okay. another time. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. I don't want to start. Yeah, I, I don't go start in, something. Yeah, we're gonna get. Okay. Yeah, start <laughs> so she said, "Where is the relationship going? No matter where." And so we heard something. Um, she said, "Where is the relationship going?" I'm thinking she wants to get married. I mean, okay. obviously she wants to be married. It's time yes. to have the married conversation. Yes, that's it, Shay. You got it. Easy fill in the blanks. Where's this relationship going? I want to know when we're getting married. Right. See, see, <laughs> that's I'm, that's I'm, what I'm I want to know. I've got this thing. This is, good. <laughs> is that what, is that what she meant? Yes. No. Well, yes. In a way, yes. I want to know because women want to prepare themselves. They want to know that they're investing okay. or they're putting their time somewhere that's going to pan out for them. That's going to give back to them. So if you don't plan on getting married or you don't plan on having a long term relationship with me or you don't plan on partner with me, let me know because I need to leave because my goal is to find someone to partner with who wants to partner with me. We know mm. oftentimes men hold back this information. They don't always like to share because they're getting some fruits. They're getting, you know, uh, the best of the relationship without having made the commitment. I had a friend tell me, and I had to think about this. Mm -hmm. This was years ago. He said, you know what, Solanda? It's usually about, he was a, he's a bachelor for life. He said, you know what, Solanda? It doesn't fail. Usually around the six to nine month mark, she's asking, what are we doing? <laughs> he said, I've marked it down in my journal. Every single woman I've dated has mm -hmm. asked between six to nine months, what are we doing? And why do they ask that question? Well, because they want security. OK, they want security. That resonate with anybody? <laughs> Women are like, Women are yes, like, yes. The guys are like, OK, got that. So our response has to be on target, I guess, whether we want to be in a committed relationship or we don't or where it's going. All right. Got it. Mm -hmm. What's another scenario? Mm -hmm. So do you always have to hang out with your boys? Do you always have to go out with your friends? He heard. Uh, she thinks I'm messing around. Yep. That. Yeah. Yep. She's, yep. Yep. She thinks I'm messing around or she wants more of my time. Huh? What? Where? Where? where, where Solana, you are. You never cease to amaze me. Where would you come up with? She wants more of my time. Like, like, like Be, seriously, like, why would you ask me to tell me I'm out with the guys too much? And it, just to say you want more of my time. Because my clients say that to me. <laughs> Yeah. All of what I share and teach, I'm telling you, over the 20 years I've developed from working with clients, not only mm -hmm. just my own experiences, but research from working with clients. Mm -hmm. And it's every man is different. They're going to think differently. So not all of these scenarios fit 
is a one size fit all. Mm -hmm. However, he's thinking, okay, I'm spending too much time with my friends. So that means she wants more time with me. Okay. But why does she always want all of my time? Like I need to hang out with my friends too. Like I come home, we sleep together, we eat dinner together. We wake up in the morning. Like what else does she want from me? Right. 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 And it's not to say that he's wrong or she's wrong or right or whatever. It's you have to find out what works for you. What is a complimentary relationship for you? Complimentary with an E. Oh, right. Yeah. Sometimes we'll have relationships where if we're two gears, mm -hmm. can you see my fingers here? Mm -hmm. We're two gears. We kind of fit together, but there's some friction. We might argue a lot or we just don't have things in common. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then the next type of relationship we fit you know, pretty well together. You know, there's still some movement. We don't argue that often. We have a lot more in common. But then when you fit tightly as a gear, you move as one and then there's less friction. That also means you can have conversation and not turn into arguments. And there's more compromise. There's more negotiation. There's more openness to change the situation instead of just saying, nope, this is how I am. Deal with it or not. Mm, mm, I like that. Okay. I like that. So, as, as, I'm, as I'm learning about this and I see the comments, uh, Sherry Wallace says, doesn't mean you have to get married tomorrow. It just means they want to know where is it going. Mm -hmm. Very legitimate. I'm going to ask you to give two quick examples of she said he heard. And then I want to talk about this be the man ATL.com. Be the man ATL.com. And, and what the conference is really about. Um, what's the mission of it? And, and who should really attend? Um, I feel like I should be there. Um, I like what's going on because it's. I like it's not just a bash session. One of the things I enjoy most about working with uh, Solanda is that Solanda is going to break it down in very practical ways. And so it's not just a beat me up session, right? And so when you go to the conference, um, for us men like myself that want to be the man, like always want to be the man, no matter how old I get, I just always want to know that I am the man. So I want to be the man. Um, I also want to make sure I'm going anywhere and I have to leave the conference feeling worse than when I walked into the conference, right? <laughs> yeah. So first, you talk about this Be The Man ATL, and you can go look at it. I think it's BeTheManATL.com. She puts them up quick for you guys, um, just so y'all know what it is. Um, but give us two more scenarios, and let's talk about that, because there's, there's a mom out there right now. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. a wife out there. There's a girlfriend out there. There's a fiance out there. There's, there's a minister out there that's thinking, you know what? I would love a place where I could send my son. I love a place I can send my grandson. I love a place that I can send my husband to, or at least a place they can go to. I don't have to be there listening in on the conversation saying, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. <laughs> but they can go <clears throat> work on whatever they do over there. But what I know, and I can trust and believe, is that when they come back home, they'll be better off, or will be better off than when we left. And yes. you think about that right now, <clears throat> and you think about the people that are out there um, where would you send someone right now? No, 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 seriously, like right now, and if you want to send someone to be the man, starting in Atlanta, <clears throat> be the man, ATL.com, if you want to send your husband or send your boyfriend or, or send someone you trust or write a check and support someone, where would you send them? Other to a counseling session, maybe to some couples thing over here, but I'm talking about to get the type and level of training at the distinction that Solanda does in a fun loving, caring environments that has a mission for you to go apply what you've learned, not just learn and never apply. Here's something I want everybody to put down in your notes. And, and Eric Nicholson, who's, he's, a, he's a motivational speaker. We'll, we'll get his comments. We won't be here long. We'll get his comments <clears throat> in a minute. But I want you all to write this right below the video. And this is something that I learned and, and I just want to share it with you. And this going to give you two examples, two samples that she said he heard. She hasn't forgotten. Trust me. <laughs> I never forget. She heard me. Um, and then she's talking about the Be The Man Atlanta. We put this in your notes. Look right below the video and write this down. The best intentions do not equal the best results. Let me say it mm -hmm. again. The shayism, you can use that. The best intentions do not equal the best results. So I know that you have the best intentions or you wouldn't be in a relationship, I like to believe. I know you have the best intentions or you wouldn't be married. I know you have the best intentions for everyone to be happy and blissful and joyful and peaceful. I like the word happy. Come on now. Come on. Happy. But the best intentions do not equal the best results. And so that we know that the result, that's our principle. The results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. If that's a principle, then what is the process? We believe in principle, process, strategy, and action. The process is the how. Solana is mm -hmm. here to talk about the how. 
She'll, mm-hmm. when you go to her conference, she'll teach the strategies. But right now she's here to talk about the how. But she's given us a few things that we can do. So Solanda, talk about that if you can. The best, talk about that, if you give us, give us two, two examples if you can. And Eric put down, you don't understand me. He heard, are you paying attention to me? <laughs> you don't understand me. <laughs> How can I not understand you? I, I never, I never even understood that question, Solanda. <laughs> you don't understand me. I'm like, okay, we're together, <laughs> we're married, and I don't mm-hmm. understand you. You know what you're right? I don't understand why you asked me that question. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's legitimate. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Right, and I, I love that. I'm going to use one of mine. Um, what Eric said because when a woman says that either you haven't listened to her completely. Mm-hmm. Right, you jumped in and cut her off because you think she wants you to solve the problem. And I alluded to this earlier. And then that tells her that you don't care because you jumped in on what she was saying. Mm-hmm. When really you do care because you're trying to solve the problem. Right. So right. do you see how, yeah, do you see how it can be misinterpreted? Okay, so it's important again to go back and say, hey, I, I'm listening. I have this capacity and it works best if you want me to solve something, get to the point and then let me solve it. All uh, right, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to solve the problem or just listen? Mm-hmm. Babe, I'm yes. good for 10 minutes. You got me. Yes. My attention span is only so long right now. In fact, it's mm-hmm. 10 minutes long. <laughs> yes. Got it. I'm telling you, it works wonders. It works wonders. Got it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You know what? You, you know, I'm taking these notes over here because I, I can learn how to do this and how to be the man. I love what you're doing. I lo- oh, let me get this here. There we go. There we go. I love what you're doing and I love how you're teaching it, by the way. Um, if we can, and I love when you talk about relationships. I love when you talk about being the man. I love all the things you're doing. Talk about this this conference, be the man okay. ATL.com. I know we only got so much time. Y'all don't understand. Yeah. Solana's in overtime. Solana's like in double overtime. We should have been gone a <laughs> long time ago. She's probably going to say, Shay. I need to be more clear next time. You have this amount of minutes. But, <laughs> but in all honesty, before the show, she said, to hey, Shay, I'm here to serve. I'm here yeah. to give. I'm here to help relationships. She's on a mission. Solanda, tell us about this conference, BeTheManATL.com. Uh, who's, what's the mission? Mm-hmm. Uh, who should attend? And mm-hmm. what do we walk away with? Now, someone do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and write these words, man." ATL.com. So Shay, you, we're missing just one letter, one word, Uh-oh. and it's be the man in ATL. No, you're no, good. No, it's no, okay. No, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna okay. fix it. I'm listening to you. What I heard you say. See, you like that. You like that. I'm <laughs> what I heard Very you say, good. Shay, is you missed something. So I'm going up here now, and I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna put the website up here. How's that? I'm gonna make it easy. So it's. Uh, www.bethemanatl. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's it. Now, is that yes. is that is that website even working? We're gonna we're gonna find out. Someone someone <laughs> someone do me a favor. Someone go someone look right below the video and put. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm trying to be fancy over here. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me just go back. Is it 2048? Can you can you see it, Solanda? Yes, I can see what you're doing. Okay. There we go. Be okay. the man Atlanta.com. Someone do me a favor, look right below the video and put be the man in Atlanta. Be the man in Atlanta.com. This is the okay. conference. All right, Solanda, what's the mission of the conference? Who should attend? And what do we walk away with? The mission of the conference is for men to do several things. One, understand who women are. Two, Yay. communicate better with women. Three, understand who they are. And four, have some fun. <laughs> I like the fun part. I like the fun part. Yes, it's all in fun. I've created the conference to work like a big weekend of games, strategic games and play. Mm-hmm. So it's only for men. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's only for men. And it's their safe place to come and talk about those things that they don't get to talk about with their friends. When I did the conference last year and the evaluation forms, I asked, what did you want more of? Mm-hmm. Do you know what they said? Games. No. What? It's No, they didn't say games. They said I, we wanted more time to talk among ourselves. Oh, to kind of kind of kind of kind of do some sessions among ourselves and kind of pl- and talk about what we're doing differently. 
Yes, because I had them do breakouts and they really enjoyed that. And so I was like, okay, well, this is this is pretty cool. And so I'm incorporating the game so that it's not a weekend of lectures. It's not a weekend, you know, of just sitting down staring at a PowerPoint presentation. Oh, you're good. up, Thank you're you moving, you're doing things, you're learning, you're laughing, you're winning things. You're not only learning about women though, you're also learning about lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're also learning about how to manage your money when you have a woman in your life. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, you, got, you yes, gotta come back and get that episode. How to manage your money when you have a woman in your life, right? You come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is for men who, if she's always angry and annoyed, and you don't know how to fix the problem, this is for you if you are tired of fighting. And you thinking about stepping outside of the relationship. I know that that's kind of a hard one to swallow, but this is really how men are. Men, when they're lacking something, they're gonna go after it and try to fulfill it. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you've lost a connection and you're trying to get it back, you want who she used to be when you first started dating. You mm -hmm. feel disrespected and unappreciated. Sure, sure. Okay. All of these things we're going to work through at the conference in a fun way, a game play weekend. And you get to learn about some fitness, some fashion, and your money. So it's going to be awesome. I can't wait because I don't know anybody else who's doing something like this. No, I don't, at least I don't. a woman doing this for men. So that's why this is such... It, it's a hard place for me. Mm. And if you can tell, I'm really excited about it. This yeah. is a hard place, for me, you know, and I know some men, like, I'm not going to that. I don't need that. I already know everything. Yes, you know some things. And guess what? I can add on to some things and some things you didn't even think you know you needed to know about women to be happy. So men can change their relationships. It's not all up to the women. And I believe that because I see these men every day. And that's why I'm passionate about helping them build better relationships. And the stuff that they learn from me, they use it in their work life, too. Oh, really? That's what I, yes, that's so, what I've been so, told. So is this this conference for single men, too? Can you, can you just be single, not even dating right now? And still so, come? yes, it's for uh, men in relationships, mm -hmm. for men who are single and want to know why things aren't working out, why they can't keep a relationship. Mm -hmm. It's for divorced men who are like, OK, I need to understand what just happened. And if I do this again, I need to be better equipped. Mm -hmm. So it's for people who are IT, military, CEO, business people. Uh, you know, if you just don't know how to communicate and you're ready to own up to that, this is for you. Okay. It's for those men. I love it. I love it. What's, what's the website? So the website is B. The man in ATL.com. Okay, so, so I'm, I'm going to ask everyone to do me a favor. Just everyone look right below the right. video. One of the way, one of the things you can do, uh oh, I hit the wrong one. One of, the, one of the things you can do is you can go over there and you can put down, you can go over to the website now and put be the man. There we go. There we go. There we go. I got to find it. I got to find where it is. I don't know where it is. There we go. You can put be the man in ATL.com. Just put be the man in ATL. ATL.com. We're going to see you there. It's going to be amazing. Don't worry, I have Solana come back. I have her go into a little more detail. I wanted her just to introduce you to her because, you know, mm -hmm. she's like the secret weapon. She's like the behind the scenes chick that really makes things happen mm -hmm. to me. She's made a huge impact in my life. Um, I knew her before I got married. I knew her after I got married. And <laughs> And, 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 and she was very instrumental. Now, this is, I didn't show up to give you a big testimony. I really didn't. But I got to give it to you because it was because of her guidance, her leadership, and her being able to say, Shay, just think about it a little differently. Um, I hear it a little differently. Then mm -hmm. it made a significant change. And so I would encourage any guy that's out there. I don't, I don't get paid to do this, by the way. It's not like I get something if you sign up. I just want you to have a happy, a peaceful a successful and a joyful relationship or mm -hmm. marriage or life. Yes. I mean, yes. whatever works best for you. Marriage doesn't have to be the ultimate goal. It's not the only mm -hmm. goal. And I get it for some it is, but for others, maybe it isn't. And that's okay. You're mm -hmm. always with yourself anyway, but you're mm -hmm. always communicating with someone. So why not be not more effective, not more efficient, but why not be able to be on the same at least wavelength and at least mm -hmm. understand why they're saying what they're saying and understanding why you're saying what you're saying. So we don't always have to rely on our intuition. We don't always have to rely on our gut. We can also apply some very necessary principles. So Solanda, for all you do in the world, you are truly amazing. You're incredible. Um, you don't get the credit you need because, you know, as guys, I'm not going to pull you out the box and say, guess, guess what? I just kind of walk around. Shay, you're so smart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shay, how'd you? 
Baby, I got it. Don't worry. I, I'm only here for you. See, I, I remember those things. <laughs> this is your time. I'm not even worried about where my phone is right now. You get a phone call? I don't care. Not, mm. not between six and eight. <laughs> <laughs> After eight o'clock, I got a show to get to. You know that. Yes, yes. <laughs> Between six and eight, it's all your time. I don't care what my phone mm-hmm. is. I left it, left it. I even left the phone back at the house. I don't need it. Okay. But um, but it goes a long way. Uh, Solana, I'm going to ask, I'm gonna do a favor. Um, for those folks that are out there, in all seriousness, um, as we close up, I'm going to ask Solana if she'll do a favor. I'm going to ask Solana. We have something called Monday Motivational. And we have something called uh, on Mondays. We give the thought of the week, right? Mm-hmm. And I know you you spend a lot of time on the road. You spend a lot of time training. You spend a lot of time in the studio. But I'm, I'm going to ask her maybe if I can maybe her share her thought of the week that men can do, that men can do to be a more effective communicator. Now, how would she do that? How would she do that? Mm-hmm. Well, she can pull out her cell phone and do a two minute blurb or whatever the thought of the week is. And then we'll share that with the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe community. Now, as she's doing that, I'm going to encourage all y'all to start following Salonda. She, she has a website, SolandaSmith.com. She's doing some amazing things she's going to come out with about. She has a big conference going on. We'll bring her back on to talk more about the conference, about what's going to happen at the conference. It'll be a shorter segment tonight. She just gave her time, gave her effort. We appreciate that. But I'm asking if she'll do that. Now, what are, what are, what are we going to do in return? The Happy Entrepreneur Show. We're not going to keep it to ourselves, right? It is for the Happy Entrepreneur's tribe, but we're going to play it here on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. So every Monday you can tune in and guess what? You can get a two minute, the start of the week, start of the week from and where else can you talk to someone that deals with relationship for a guy? And you can take that. You can share it. If, if, if you share something like that in the group, can they, can they share it with their network? Can they share it on their personal pages? If you provide like a little two-minute video, can they, can they share that out to other people? Would that, would that be okay? You're talking about me? Yeah. Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay. So I would I'm, love that. So I, I surprised Solana. See, I still got it, y'all. I still got it. She's like, what? <laughs> Where's she going? What is he doing? She's trying to figure me out. You cannot figure me out, Solana. I am Shea Brown. You can't figure me out. See? Even I didn't know yeah, I was going to do I that. I certainly thought you were talking to the, to the viewers. So, but yes, absolutely. Oh, she's not talking to the viewers. Solanda, I am now talking to you, Solanda. I'm talking directly to you, Solanda. Thank you for the clarity. I'm asking you, Solanda, for your permission, Solanda, to do something. How many more times I gotta say her name? I don't know. But let me let me let me give you a sample. Uh, we have someone, um, Dr. Kinnett, who does it. Then we're, we're we're out of here. We're done, you guys. We're in overtime. But I just wanna give her a flavor. It's about two minutes, so you get an idea of what she did. And then you know you do you do yours your own style. By the way, I just wanna give you an idea. We're gonna play it. Like you show up on Monday, and you will have the thought of the week. Probably won't be more than two minutes. I promise you. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to start kind of getting a flavor of what it's like to be inside Solana's head. But I also want you to start following Solanda, and I also want you to start sharing her message because your tribe, your community, people you're connected with may not know. She's a speaker. Yes, she's an author. You saw her bio. Yes, yes, yes. She's, she's available to be on webinars. She's available to speak in person. She's available for workshops and facilitation. She's available for all that. But tonight, she was like, say, I'm just showing tonight to help. She could have talked about a lot of stuff. She said, Shay, whatever you want to talk about, we're going to talk about. And I appreciate that. Let me let me show a two minute, just this quick two minutes. And then we're out of here, Solana. We're out of here. We gotta get some sleep. We don't have to sleep. They gotta sleep. Uh, so <laughs> let me let me let me just give you a slip. This is someone who made a commitment. Uh, some of you know Connette. She was here and she made a commitment. And this is what she did last week. And every Monday we now play one of her thought of the week. She provides it every week. Here it is. Hello, it's your girl, Dr. Kinette Thigpen, also known as Dr. K. I am the founder of Rise Women's Network, and Rise Women's Network is pleased to present to you hashtag next sister up. I'm here with you in the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe to bring to you the thought of the week. The thought of the week is let your passion fuel your purpose. Let your passion fuel your purpose. Now, many times you'll hear people use the word purpose and passion interchangeably. Mm Mm-mm. Nope. Nada. Not the same. It's not the same. It's just not the same. You see, your passion is your compelling emotions. And your purpose is the reason why you are in existence. Kind of look at it like this. Your passion is your what and your purpose is your why. Your passion is your what and your purpose is your why. You know what? Maybe you're not even sure what you're passionate about. Maybe you're still trying to figure it out and that's okay. I challenge you to do two things. One, create new experiences and go on new adventures. Create new experiences and go on new adventures. 
Here's the thing. If you're not sure what you're passionate about, but you keep doing the same thing and getting the same results, of course, yes, that's the definition of insanity. But two, you're never gonna know if there's something else you're passionate about. So again, I challenge you to create new experiences and go on new adventures. The second thing is, I challenge you to go back to your younger years. You know, think about the things that you really, really enjoyed, the things that you had a great time doing. You see, your passion is what fulfills you. It's what comes easy for you. It's what comes natural for you. You know, your passion is what gives you energy and is very effortless for you. So again, let your passion fuel your purpose. That's the thought of the week. I'm Dr. K and I'm signing off. Have a great week, y'all. So with that being said, that gives you just, just a flavor. It gives you a flavor of the shortness, but you know, we certainly appreciate Dr. Kinnett Thigpen, who's out there, who's an amazing, incredible mm -hmm. person, by the way. I don't know if you met yeah. Dr. Uh, Connect Thigpen, I have to make sure I connect you together. Uh, she's on the other side of doing therapy, by the way. You help us in relationships, uh -huh. and she helps people heal what's going on. She doesn't really do that. She manages a group of folks that do that. But okay. anyway, with that being said, uh, I want to thank you so much. I want to give you the, the final comments. And, and here's how we, let's give Solanda Smith a digital applause. Here's how we give her a digital applause at the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country. One of the ways we do that is you look right below the video, look right below the video and just put thank you, Solanda. Just put thank you, Solanda Smith. Thank you, Solanda Smith. Just put thank you, Solanda Smith. So how do you give a digital applause? How do you give a thank you? You look right below the video and put Aww. thank you, Solanda Smith. Hit the heart button. Hit the, sh hit the heart button. Hit the like button. That's just a signal. Hey, we appreciate you. You hung in there. You stayed a lot longer than everybody else. You were just there. But she was like <laughs> pouring into you. She was so into it. I couldn't just stop her. I couldn't stop her. Probably next time we'll stop her. We'll give her a segment, by the way. But she was just on point. She is a rock star. Solanda, thank you for all the good that you do in thank the world. You. Thank you for making a difference in my life and many of the lives that you touch every single day through the power of your trainings, through mm -hmm. the power of your broadcast, through the power of your, your books that you write, and the one-on-one -on -one conversation that you have every single day. We will always remember, she said, he heard, and what we need to do to be able to be a more effective communicator. So with that being said, I'll, I'll give you um, the final comments to talk to the men that are out there. Um, the women, they're going to eavesdrop in on a conversation. But, but the <laughs> men out there right now, some are considering coming to uh, uh, be the man in ATL.com, um, mm -hmm. but they know they can get better. Um, um, Sherry Wallace says, definitely a rock star. Pat, Patsy Yarby says, thank you, Solanda. Uh, yes. Cheryl Diane says, thank oh, you, Solanda. Thank you. Margaret McCoy says, thank you, Solanda, with a big heart. Hit the heart. Let her know that this is oh, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Solanda, over to you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Appreciate oh, you. thank you for all the love. Everybody's watching. Thank you so much for all the love. That really feels good. Um, and Shay, thank you for inviting me and having me. This is always fun for me. This is fun stuff for me. Like this is like my passion and my heart. For men, what I want to say to you is that you can change your relationship. It is not always up to the women. Many people say that women are the ones that can change the relationship. If you want your relationship to change, talk to the woman. That's not true. Men, you are empowered too. There's tools, there's things that you can do with the right communication and understanding about the relationship. You can create the ultimate relationship adventure. If you want it, you can have it. And so I salute you. I want you to come out to the conference. It's gonna be awesome. I want you to be there to witness the transformation of a group of men who are going to go out and have tools and change their relationships and their wives, their women, future wives or women are going to be like, okay, where'd you learn that tool? Where'd you learn that technique? And they're going to want to know the secrets, right? They're going to have to now be educated and trained, but men, thank you so much. Viewers have a wonderful night. Shay, thank you so much. Thank you all for joining. We appreciate it. With that being said, by the way, my name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you, I promise you, we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.